Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to not recreate something but take inspiration from a very very special dress. I will go into detail in just a second. I wanted to ask you guys a favor if you haven't already please go over to my Instagram and my TikTok. The handle is exactly the same as here on YouTube and go follow me there. Especially on my Instagram stories I am asking you for a lot of design decisions to help me out with because sometimes I just don't know what to do so that would be really really cool of you and also if you want to take part in future projects in that way go over and follow me there. The outcome of this video might not be what you guys expect but it's still really really cool and I'm really really excited to share this with you and I will tell you in the end my plans for maybe another episode of this but more on that later on. Let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing that I actually want to do is print out my pattern for the draped mini dress that is available on Etsy if you're interested but I'm only going to print out the first four pages because the rest of the dress is actually just the skirt and that I don't need, I just need the bodice because let me tell you a little bit about what I have in mind. So I saw this Toyota Matoshi dress which I love so much. Sorry if you can hear any construction work in the background we're getting our balcony redone so that's going on today. I'm very sorry about the noise. I hope you cannot hear it that well because of the microphone but just in case. Anyways I got inspired by this dress by Toyota Matoshi and I just fell in love with it and I got fabric that is like this and I got you know all the stuff that you need so lilac fabric, lilac zippers, lilac everything and I actually decided that I do not want to make the exact exact dress because where's the fun in that? So I will try to make a bodice similar to that but from then on I will do some sort of my version of this dress so Let's see where it leads us. I don't know yet what I want to do but I was thinking about sleeves maybe or what would also be really really nice instead of a skirt maybe pants so an overall. I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's see about that. So once you've printed this out it looks something like this and you can see right here that there is a control which you need to measure. If it measures one inch or five centimeters you can continue. If not you need to figure out your printing. I will cut this out in size S and I guess make some sort of mock-up. I don't even know if I need to make a mock-up still because this fits. But then on the other hand I'm gonna cut this out and rearrange the hemline because I want it to sit around the waist and this specific dress makes like a really high hip curvature and I don't want that so I will do that. And in case this is not clear with patterns that you buy from me, if you print them out they will come out probably with some sort of corner that is not printed on right here. That's just how printers work. I can't really do much about it but I print prefer this over the other method that I discussed in my previous video last week. You don't need to cut out anything in this. You just put paper next to paper and tape it together and this should be fine. Whereas in the other method that I talked about last week you would have to cut out the frame that is on the paper and I just don't quite like this. I just try to arrange the pattern in such a way that no information gets lost. Yeah and for this one you don't even need to tape anything together because they're literally all on one page. You know that idea of making a jumpsuit? kind of grew on me. I think that would be such a cool thing. Like a really nice fitted bodice and then elegant either straight leg or a little bit wide legged pants. Because how cool would that be to have like a very fitted bodice you know with nice cups and nice boning and everything and then have long straight leg perfectly fitted pants. Maybe not straight legged but I don't know yet. Maybe wide legged, maybe straight legged, maybe a bit fitted. Something but very very elegant. Or 
just some tall thingies, whatever, without the lilac fabric underneath. Let's just make it like this. So the bodice will have a layer of lilac fabric and then on top a layer or two, I don't know yet, of tulle like into made into the whole garment the pants will just be the lilac fabric and then the sleeves will only be the tool that would be really cool i think but that means that i have to make a mock-up <laughs> So I am done now with cutting out the bodice and I basically know that it's gonna fit but I wanted to make the pants for it and for that I was thinking to just use my Madeleine pants that I already have and just change them up so that the folds in the front are gone and instead of that there is just the normal dart so very elegant and nice fitted pants because they are already very high-waisted and that should be no problem to just sew it together with what I made here and I elongated this pattern here as well by five centimeters. So basically what you just saw me do was <laughs> trying to figure out how to merge two patterns into one. I used my Madeleine pattern and then I also used my pant block pattern that I made in a previous video, which I haven't fitted yet though. So technically it fits, but who knows? So I wanted to make sure to merge those two because I kind of want to have more like the fit for the pant block, but I know that the hip area on my Madeleine pants works perfectly. So 
I am very curious how that's gonna look in the end. I will obviously now fit these. I made it in such a way so that the front pan that I made fits with the back Madeleine pan. So I'm just gonna make that and leave the center back open for the pants so that I can fit it and then I can see how much I still need to take out on the side seams because I think as the Madeleine pants are very very big, <laughs> especially around the hips and the uh, legs, that I will have to take out a bunch but that's fine. That's why I do fittings and we're gonna see about that. So let's get to sewing. So I tried on the one side already a bit of a fitting I guess but I decided to redo that on the other side that you can see right here because I didn't really want to put any darts in there or like to change up the cup size anything like that because it, it fits it's just a bit low and I wanted to cover the chest area a bit more so I just took a scrap piece of my fitting fabric and laid it underneath the cup that is already there and kind of smoothed it out in such a way that it's shaping nicely over top of the chest and made it basically higher the whole area so what this leaves me with is the cups being higher and therefore the pattern pieces realigning kind of I want to change the dividing line between the lower portion of the cup and the upper portion like this kind of band that's on top of it and because at the moment it's kind of like sloping down and I want to have it horizontally I want to have it like straight so that's what I'm gonna do too that's not a huge fix it's very easy to just do as the pattern pieces align anyways and then I'm probably just gonna use the portion that I put on top of the cups now as this kind of strap piece that's covering everything and yeah that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I did with this fitting apart from that I think the bodice looks very very nice I like the placement of the cups of the dividing lines I like the fit in general so I'm fine with that and I'm gonna keep it like that and now I'm gonna do the pants
so I did a small fitting off camera and this is what it looked like after I put pins in. The only thing that I still wanted to change was the legs. I didn't want them to be white legged pants. I thought that making them a bit slimmer or straight legged would look very very elegant, especially with the bodice as the top. So that's one thing that I wanted to change as well. And then also the waistline was a bit too high. As you can see there, it's kind of overlapping with the bodice, the waistline of the bodice. So I need to take the waist a bit down, especially in the back. But those are just a few changes. I need to redo this fitting and we'll go from there. So I am going to start today with the pants. I quickly made the uh, other remaining pattern pieces off camera on the computer because I also digitized the pattern as well. I will actually cover making these pattern pieces and what to look out for as well as grading pants because that's like some special thing in an upcoming video. So watch out for that. And now I'm gonna start actually cutting everything out of my fashion fabric because it's already Wednesday and I have no idea how I am supposed to finish everything on time up until Sunday. I have to make everything still. I have all the patterns now, but I still need to make everything. So the, the, the top bodice part, pants and the skirt. And now I am actually thinking if I can't make it on time, I will only make pants and bodice, but we'll see. Let's hope and let's start. <laughs> I don't think that I even showed you this fabric before, but that is the really, really cute tool with iridescent or even hollow hearts on it. And it is so, so freaking cute. I'm gonna put this on the bodice over top of the lilac layer and I think it's gonna end up looking really, really nice. I am done with cutting everything out. This is what it looks like, pants and everything that fits to the pants and then also the bodice, the skirt I'm gonna do in the end. And now I'm gonna put the pants together. I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing this because as you know, I already made a video where I explain how to put pants together, how to do the opening in the front, how to do everything. The only thing that is different is that this one has a waistband, but that's not too big of a problem. Just make sure that you iron on interface on the waistband and the respective other parts like the fly pieces, the opening, the front and so on. And you're good to go, hopefully. And we're gonna do that right now. So I actually just finished the pants as much as it, they need to be finished to fit them for the first time. And I have a slight bit of a, hmm, not a problem. Everything's fine. I'm going to show you in a second, but the pockets 
are kind of not really working out for these pants. So this is what they look like. I love, I absolutely love how they look like. But as you can see, I sewed the pocket shut. And that is for the only reason of the pants being kind of like leggings tight up here. I use a fabric that is a slight tiny bit elastic, not much, just a tiny bit, maybe 10%. And that just makes the pants very tight and the pockets, they just open up. And as I don't have some sort of like pocket facing and I just have this fabric here for my pockets, this cotton fabric. It was kind of in your face to have like one open thing here with another type of fabric. So I just decided to base the pockets shut. I did that with my biggest stitch on the machine, just top stitch it down so that they are shut, but they could be opened if I wanted to, which I don't think so. I actually think that I will take them out completely at some point. But this is what the pants look like right now and I am literally so so happy with the fit. I love how they fall in this area because that is one of the major problems I have with straight legged pants like these ones. So in other pants that I've tried on in this style they kind of make me insecure about my hip area and that is one thing that really really challenged me with making these pants and I'm so so happy that they turned out how they turn out because they don't make me look big at all. In the contrary, in my opinion, I think they make me look slimmer than I am. And that is just perfect. And also they make me look like I have the longest legs ever. <laughs> so that's really, really cool. And yeah, that's what they look like. So it's the next day now. I finished the pants yesterday. I still need to hem them, but that's not a big of a deal. And today I'm gonna start with the bodice. I cut everything out already apart from the lining. I'm gonna do that in the end because <laughs> I thought that I still had some fabric, but I gave that fabric away. Therefore, I don't have lining fabric, so I thought. But actually the pieces that I still have are enough. I'm gonna show you right now because I'm using some sort of like an old pillowcase for that uh, or two old pillowcases I guess and I'm gonna make the lining out of that because that is literally the only purple lilac whatever kind of colored cotton that I have <laughs> because I didn't want to make the lining white or something like that therefore I'm gonna use that so that's exciting and we're gonna start doing that today I am actually going to make the bodice as one piece so I have three different layers the lilac, the tool, and then the interlining, which is 100% medium weight cotton muslin. And that just gives the whole bodice some strength because it's not like tight tight, but it is skin tight, I would say. It's not singeing in or anything, but I still don't want it to wrinkle up quite a bit as the draped mini dress that I did. And therefore I'm gonna put all of these layers in there. And then on top of that, I will put boning in there as well. I'm going to use my Rigeline boning for this as usual and then hide all of that with the lining. So that's the task for today. I don't think that I'm gonna take that long um, because I'm already quite used to making this kind of bodice. I made like three or four already. So that's gonna be some fast sewing, I guess. And then I have outfit number one completely done. I don't know if I want to add the tool sleeves 
to this. I'm definitely gonna use some bands or whatever, some cotton twill tape or whatever that I'm gonna cover with the tulle and the lilac fabric for straps because I think that looks really really nice and then we'll go from there if I want to add some tulle sleeves or something like that. Yeah, so that's that. Let's do that. So I am done with one half of the bodice. This is what it looks like. It's so, so cute. If you imagine it being here, this looks so nice. And I'm really, really satisfied with how everything is laying. And I'm not sure about top stitching and stuff like that, because I really like it like this. I'm just gonna put boning in the side seams and then go from there. Okay, now I changed my mind. I actually really, really like this look of the double top stitch. And then on this side, you can see the boning. So as you can see, I stitched like in the left side here of the polyester and then on the right side as well. And that is what it came out. And then here over the cup, I think I will do one long one that goes all the way to the hem through the middle front piece. So I am done now with the first part of the bodice and I actually went ahead and did all or some I guess of the in-between boning strips right there because I didn't mind it too much. I think this actually looks really really elegant and then I also went ahead and put a diagonal one in here just to remove all the wrinkles that would build up here if you put some tension on this area. Therefore I went ahead and did this. The wrinkles basically go this way up. So you have to put something in the other direction into the bodice right there in order to avoid wrinklage and that's what this looks like. It worked out pretty pretty well and that's it for this part. And that's it for now. You might have noticed that I actually only did the bodice and pants. That's for a good reason, which is the length of the video, to be honest. I could have made outfit number two and added the skirt in this video, but it just would have been way too long. So I decided to actually split this up into two videos. So in a future video, I will actually make another set that takes inspiration from the Toyota Matoshi dress. And I was thinking about making the skirt, obviously, but then also making a jacket out of the lilac fabric so I can actually use the whole set as a outfit with pants or a skirt whatever I would like so that's really really exciting you can keep an eye out for that of course I'm not just gonna end this video right here I will show you a video montage of me wearing the two pieces and I'm really excited to share that with you because I am so so happy I told you already in the video the pants are just my dream pants <laughs> and they really make me feel confident so I'm going to show you the video right now if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate that. Also give this video a like if you liked it <laughs> and leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on the video. Tell me your thoughts on the outfit itself and what pieces you would like me to add to this whole outfit in episode two. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys!